A history of DeSoto County or Florida citrus would not be complete without the name of Robert Louis Morgan. A lame mule pulling a one-horse wagon brought the parents of Louis Morgan from Waldo to Arcadia in 1891 when he was just a few months old. His longtime friend and employee, Bobby Mixon, recounts firsthand stories from Louis Morgan. His father was a blacksmith at the time, and he done blacksmith work, then he got involved in what they call the Arcadia Hardware, he got in the hardware business, then he got in the mortuary business, the funeral business also. And uh, he told Mr. Morgan, when he got out of high school and he started a college, he was, he was quite a ball player. He said, you can go to college, but your ball, your ball glove stays home. He wouldn't let him take his ball glove to college. He didn't want him playing ball. He wanted him to get educated, which he did a good job of that. After graduating from the University of Florida, Louis enlisted in the Army and became a pilot and first lieutenant. It was in the family hardware store that Louis Morgan first became interested in business and in planting orange and grapefruit trees. When the war ended, he had several employment opportunities but the smell of orange blossoms called him home to DeSoto County. Louis became quite a businessman and citrus entrepreneur. He had groves, organized the DeSoto Canning Company, built two jelly operations, and, of course, created Sunny South Packing Company that still runs today. Mr. Morgan certainly had a way of getting things done. Mr. Morgan told me the story that he, went, he needed credit, so he went to road to train, to, to New York City to go to Chase Manhattan Bank to get a credit. He went into the bank and told the receptionist he wanted to see the president of the bank. She told him, asked him, did you have, a, do you have an appointment? He says, no, I don't. She said, well, you can't see the president. He said, I rode a train from Arcadia, Florida, all the way up here, and I'm going to see the president before I leave. And she tried to get him to go see somebody else. And he says, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to sit in this lobby. When I can see the president, then I'll, I'll go see him. So about middle of the afternoon, she come over and asked him, she says, uh, if you'll catch this elevator, go to a certain floor, and somebody will meet you there and take you to the president's office. So he went, went up there and got into pres to the president's office. He said he walked in. Here he was sitting behind a big mahogany desk and a leather chair. And it was elite. It was, I mean, first class. He, he always used the word first class. He said it was first class. And so when he looked at me, he says, you're very persistent, aren't you? He says, yeah. He says, what'd you do, come to buy my bank? Mr. Morgan says, is it for sale? He laughed. He says, sit down. He says, tell me what you need. And when he left there, he had a credit of $50,000, and that was before the Depression, which was a lot of money. The love of his life was Gertrude, his wife of 47 years. With no children, they established the L.R. and Gertrude Morgan Foundation, which has helped DeSoto County in countless ways, including donating the land for Morgan Park, DeSoto Veterans Park, and numerous churches in the community. He was very compassionate with people. He, he was a man that didn't want nobody to know what he'd done. If he'd done anything for anybody, it wasn't advertised because he said everybody say, Louis Morgan's trying to make a name for himself. He never wanted nobody to know what he'd done. He'd done a lot of good that people didn't know it was him. If he hadn't been good, I wouldn't have worked for him as long as I did. I thought a lot of him and still think a lot of him. And uh, I still work for Sunny South Packing Company, which is still operating today. Although Louis passed away in 1975, his legacy lives on through the Morgan Foundation and his imprint on the citrus community. We are proud to name Robert Louis Morgan a 2013 DeSoto County AgFest legend.